Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are in Firenze, Florence, Italy and we're here to shoot some film. We're gonna be shooting on the Roli 35S, very compact film camera. It was really nice to find some backup film in the room's fridge. I kinda wish every hotel would do that, but with lower rates. As we left our accommodation, we prepared for the boiling temperatures that Florence has to offer in July. Here's where I shot the intro, and as you can see, we had to find our way through a labyrinth. We then didn't find our room and slept outside. We started our fall walk in the most famous square of the city, where the cathedral Santa Maria del Fiore is. It was very crowded and very hot, but we managed to get our tour going. Anyway, the lens on the Rolei 35S pops out, which makes it the perfect pocket camera. It's hard to find good subjects in those conditions so I took the first shot at the church, with the only purpose of advancing the film, and I do regret that. After a terrible start, I managed to take a sneaky shot at this guy. I love the background and the pose. If you happen to be in Florence, stop in this area to check out some of those amazing street artists as they paint in the shade of the church. I would have loved to take some photos but it is forbidden and they are pretty aware of people walking with their camera. Anyway, we then arrive at Santa Maria Novella where the heat was almost unbearable. and I managed to burn my knee while taking this photo. Ah, woo, woo. I do like the result though. Street markets are such great places for photography in Florence. Leather goods are sold basically have everywhere and due to the messy nature of those places, it's quite easy to get good shots being unnoticed. We also decided to explore the inside part of the market, which we found mostly closed, but very interesting nonetheless. There's definitely a few cool spots where you can find good light and composition. I would say though that it's better to find it almost deserted in order to balance the composition with tidy human elements. Thank you. 
Fuji C200 did deliver some lovely green tones there and I enjoy those photos quite a lot. Upstairs, there's a food market where people can eat and enjoy some delicious street food but more importantly, where you can admire the architecture of this place. This leather goods market catch my attention and we decided to ignore the flickering nightmare ahead of us and dive into it. It's not an easy place to focus by zone, but most of the shots ended up sharp. Please touch this statue for luck or jerks. Leaving the city center, we took a small hike which leads to one of the best views above Firenze. The easy hike also offers some tasty photographic opportunities. Very different from below. The view up there is just breathtaking. I particularly enjoyed this shot as it is very hard to imagine at what time in history it was taken. We then explore the surroundings quite extensively and ended up even visiting a church, which is quite unusual for me, where I actually took a very interesting shot. As the roll finished, we settled down to drink an aperitivo in the late afternoon sun before going down and preparing for a big trip the next day. But more about that soon.
As always, tell me in the comment what do you think of these images and what is your favorite. So, until next time, ciao!